this is the year 2024 that I become a summer knits lover and not a summer knits hater. So I have scoured the internet for the patterns that I think are going to convert me into loving to knit summer tops, lacy things, a crocheted dress. Who am I? So stay tuned. Here are all the patterns that I'm going to make this summer. And I forgot to add, welcome or welcome back to the Knits by Lillian podcast. Okay, so let's talk about the elephant in the room first. Yes, my microphone is clipped to a skein of yarn. Here's the deal. This sweater, this cardigan is the Sherry Cardigan, Sherry Cardigan by Joanna Ang, will be linked. Um, it doesn't have buttons yet. And I don't know what I'm going to do about buttons because I don't have any and I don't have plans to get any. And I really like this cardigan, but I always have a hard time styling round neck cardigans. It's so beautiful, but I just, I want it to be a v-neck because I don't know how to layer things. So uh, putting a microphone on this cardigan, this lovely, lacy, beautiful cardigan just was not the move. So now we have my little assistant here. Should we call him Frederick? I think we should. Or maybe like a Eugene. Anyway, we have him on a skein of yarn for accompaniment today. So, okay, without further ado, I have collected all the patterns that I wanted it this summer. Let's start with the first one. So the first pattern I have, excuse me if I'm not looking at the camera too, because I have all the patterns pulled up on my computer here so that I can know which one I'm talking about, okay? So the first two patterns actually I have are by Mochi Knits. The first one I have is the Vest Taipei. Now, full disclosure, I have cast this on already. I saw this pattern. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. I'm getting over a cold. And so we're going through something here. I saw this pattern. I saw a cotton yarn in a store. And I thought this needs to happen. Actually, <laughs> the yarn I'm using is our lovely little microphone holder here. Skipper by Kelborn Woolens. It is a 100% cotton, tangui cotton, tang, tanguis, it feels French, tangui, who can say? Okay, so I really like how this pattern is structured. I think part of the reason that I've disliked summer knit so much in the past is because I've knitted things that were just too fitted. I'm a loose summer garments girly. I love like a linen pant, a linen button down. So I kind of want to look for something that I can make to wear with that that kind of effortless, chic, Mediterranean summer, Mamma Mia vibe. Should I make a Pinterest mood board and add it in so you all know what I'm talking about? So I think this really fits. I love the cable detail. I love the, I don't know how to describe it, lack of ribbing around the armhole, the slack where the setted sleeve kind of would be. I feel like anything that's too constricting around the arms I'm not going to want to wear anything that's too constricting around the waist or the neck. I'm not really going to want to wear either. So I think this is going to be a really big win for layering pieces. I love the kind of vest silhouette instead of more of a feminine open neck shirt. So this guy is cast on. Let me show you my progress here. See if I can do this with one hand so I don't drop our good man, Frederick. I love this so far. I also think a big reason why I didn't love summer knits is because I was just using the wrong yarns. So I really wanted to do a color similar to what they did. On camera, this looks a little bit more yellow than it is in real life. I think it's a little bit more white, but love this. It's got alternating cables and then kind of ribbed columns, sort of a drop shoulder. Um, very excited for this. I think uh, my gauge is off and I think it's going to be a little bit bigger than in Mochi Knits pictures, but I'm kind of okay with that. I think that vest kind of goes with a relaxed oversized silhouette, so not mad about that. Next pattern, also by Mochi Knits. So I love this front tied look. I think this is a trend that we're going to be seeing this summer, so I kind of want to hop on it. I'm not usually a trend follower for I don't know, small niche specific things like this. I usually kind of just buy things and then wear them for however long I can in the name of say sustainability and also in the name of not having to go to the mall ever. So I think it's time to switch it up. I really like the cropped length of this and I love, love, love the v-neck. I love that it's kind of a tight, deep v-neck instead of sort of those wider ones because I feel like with the ties, this isn't gonna slip off my shoulders. 
So I don't have a yarn picked out for this. They used linen for their original sample, DK linen. So I kind of want to do something like that. I feel like a cotton could work well, maybe since it's DK. I probably could use the same yarn that I'm using for this other one, but I don't know. I really like this yarn. I really like Kelborn Woolens. I haven't worn this yet. Obviously, it's not done, but I actually started another pattern with it too. Well, cat sighting. Should we knit a cat sweater for the summer? That's very counterintuitive. They already have hair. Anyway, um, I love this one. I think this is going to be really fun. I do. I'm not sure how I feel about the bows on the front. I might want to do like a little clasp or like a singular button or something just because I don't trust a tie staying closed if I'm actually going to wear it. But I feel like since this is so loose and open, this shirt might be more of like a bathing suit cover up, day at the beach kind of vibe where you don't really need a shirt that's a whole shirt, if that makes sense. So I really like that for that. I think that's going to be a great summer piece. Okay, moving on, we have Jamie Creates, who, by the way, just released her book called Fast Knits. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Um, it's a really cool book. I actually tested one of the patterns for it. The Attention Deficit Jumper. It's that yellow sweater she's wearing right on the front. Lots of texture. Really, really pretty. I've knitted a couple of her patterns in the past. Jamie is an Australian designer. She's probably about my age, like young mid-20s. And so it's really cool to see somebody who is like my age and demographic designing patterns that are getting so much attention. So anyway, love her. Go check out her patterns. So I have the Josephine vest here that I would really love to make. Now here's the thing. It's done in a Surrey alpaca. So I don't know how much that's a summer fiber, but I'm willing to, I'm willing to test it out because I'll see if I can find the exact picture, but someone made this orange version, kind of a burnt orange version that is just stunning. And so it's got this big lace panel down the front, but with the orange, it just, I don't know, it really elevates it. And I love, 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 love a burnt orange. So I think that might be the color that I try to do it in. I'm going to test out my gauge. See, okay, I'm usually a super, super loose knitter, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how gauge is going to go. I might, you know, maybe I make this and then I wear it in the fall as a vest. That works too. Or maybe we go rogue and add some sleeves and just call it a transitional piece. But I, oh, if I did that, maybe I should do a cream or a navy. That could be good. Okay. So maybe I'll have to make a couple of these, but Jamie has a lot of cool patterns. She also has, this isn't one that I plan to talk about, but the happy hour top, um, kind of a cross hatch pattern across the entire thing. Love, love, love that pattern. I actually have made one in the past, but I made it with a really chunky yarn, which looks super cool, but is incredibly impossible to style because it's so thick and warm and dense, but it doesn't have sleeves. So either I'll have to go back and add sleeves or I kind of just want to remake it, but She's got some really, really pretty patterns. Okay, moving on to the next designer. This designer is called Creadia Studio. Creadia? I'm not sure. Um, but the May camisole, I am in love with. So it's a very structured top as well, but looser fit through the body. And honestly, I love the sort of yellowy green that they did their sample in. I think it looks really elegant. And I could totally see it with... Here I am going to talk about linen pants again, but I could totally see it with like a pair of baggy white linen pants, maybe a linen shirt over it too. Is it chic or is it too much linen? I ask myself this question every summer, but I really like the ribbing detail on this. I love how the ribbing around the sleeves or around the armhole and the ribbing around the cuff go together so well and are structured very similarly. I think it looks very classic. So I kind of want to do one in the color that they did, but I might cave and do a cream or a white or maybe a black. I've been very casually thinking about doing a capsule wardrobe for myself just so that I don't have to have a full on crisis every time I try to get dressed and go anywhere. But that would be a good contender for either a black or a white or navy blue or something like that to go into the capsule wardrobe. Also, side note, if you want a video about patterns that I want to do for my own capsule wardrobe, um, classic pieces that I think are very rewearable, let me know because I've kind of been collecting those on the side. So that's something we could discuss in the future. 
Okay, so the next pattern, we have Massimo Studio. And we have, I have two by her selected. So I have the Be My Tulip Top and also the Strawberry Fields. So the Be My Tulip Top, I think this is so pretty and unique. Firstly, love the lace, love the all over lace. I think that would be a really wearable thing in the winter. I think she's wearing it tucked into a super long skirt, which I love the look of. And with the V-neck and the lace and everything, I think it would be really not overheating. How do I say that? It would be cool. It would be airy, breezy, easy breezy cover girl. That's what we're looking for. Name of video, easy breezy cover girl knits with Lily. <laughs> okay. So anyway, I love the buttons too. I think that the button up V-neck shirt is really elegant. So this is also, see, I don't know. I just love a specific picture. So I love the color she did this in, but I don't know if that would look great on my skin tone, like a really light peachy pink. So I'm thinking something darker, like a deeper forest green, I think could be really pretty. Maybe a dark blue, maybe like a sunset purple. That could be fun. We've got options here, but I really love the pop of the white buttons on that button band. So I think that I would keep, but yes, love this pattern. Okay, so then the other one of hers that I have selected, I gotta take a sip of coffee. We are moving so quickly here. So the Strawberry Fields top, also a cropped summery shirt, has a couple of cable panels. And then I really, really like the square neck. I feel like in the summer, that's always a neckline and a shape that I gravitate toward anyway. So I think that that would be something that would be really easy for me to style. I don't see too many patterns of this construction that I really like because I'm always nervous that the straps are going to get saggy and the whole thing is just going to kind of ride down. But I think she did pure silk knitting for Olive. I think either that or maybe... This same cotton would work really well. I know Knitting for Olive has a cotton merino blend that I really want to try too. So I think that could work well. Just something that gives it a little bit more structure rather than drape. It's always such a fine balance, such a fine line because I love like a linen yarn or a linen bamboo situation. I think those are always so silky and so drapey. However, sometimes the drape that I really like in a yarn ends up making me not wear the garment just because of how saggy it gets immediately. So maybe a linen cotton blend could be good. Just scheming, just planning, but Strawberry Fields top, definitely on the list. Here's the, here's the real question. How many of these am I actually going to make? Or how many am I going to cast on? And then next summer we'll be at the same point in the year and I'll be like, oh, here's all of my half finished tops that I never got around <laughs> to. Okay. So kind of taking a step in a different direction. I feel like those were a little bit more summery beach-esque, and this one's a little bit more elegant, could wear to a work conference in the summer. So we have the Tonight Top by Lily Kate Makes. I've actually never made any of her patterns before, but I've been following her on Instagram for quite some time, and so I remember this shirt or this top coming out maybe last year around this time, I want to say, and I was obsessed. And I ended up making the mini mock neck tank by Jessie Made Designs, which I think is a little bit similar just in that they both have a mock neck and they're kind of intended for summer wear. But this was the first one in that silhouette that I really was drawn towards. So I think I'm going to make this one too. The one that I saw on her Instagram was black and I loved that, but I'm torn because I don't know how much I would wear a black in the summer, but also it's just so classic and so beautiful. And it feels like the picture she has with the trousers and the shirt tucked in and the sunglasses and the hair is giving like breakfast at Tiffany's elegance. Love it. So I think this is definitely on the list too. But I, every time I see a new knit piece that I want to wear, I'm like, okay, I have to buy pants to go with that. I got to get a beachy skirt to go with that top that I'm making. So I don't know how many of these are going to go with the wardrobe that I have, but love this pattern. Okay. 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 Brace yourself. Here's where we go off the rails. Okay. I feel like I need to preface this with, maybe I've talked about this on here before, but approximately once a year, 
usually around this time, I convince myself that I know how to crochet already. Now, this is because in my youth, many, many years ago, I crocheted amigurumi, like the little round guys that you crochet, fill with stuffing. Yeah, loved them. Um, did any of them turn out good? No. They were haunted. They looked cursed. They looked possessed. I loved them. It was not a good time. Someone should have had an intervention for 13-year-old me. Okay, so with that knowledge of crochet as our background, I convince myself every year that I can make a crocheted bralette. And usually I give up almost immediately, but I'm convinced that this is the year that I will prevail. So with that being said, here are my crochet summer pattern I want to knit. The first two are by Lizard and Hook. So I follow them on Instagram and my friends always send me these patterns. Can you make these for me? I want to wear this to a bar this summer. I have a picnic coming up. Could you make this for me? And I always think about it. And I'm like, well, if I could, crocheting a top would be considerably quicker than knitting a sweater. So this would be a great gift option. I feel like it fits the style of a lot of people I know. So as far as gifting garments, I really want to give it a go. So we have two here. This first one is the Melita top. I really love the little halter neck. I love the sort of granny square-esque pattern. I think this would also be a really great over the bathing suit at the beach. Just throw it on. Look elegant. Look cute. Kind of chic boho. That feels very 2016 of me to say, but I really like this. I think this would be a good starter pattern. I think it would be easier than some of the other ones that I've been looking at. So stay tuned for that one. The second one I have also from Lizard and Hook is the Sunburst, oh man, come on, Sunburst Mosaic Bralette. I have all these tabs open. I keep clicking into the wrong one. So I really like the original color they did this one sort of a dusty pink but I think I want to do like a dark teal specifically because this is going to be very niche but I think some of you will know Mamma Mia 2 okay there's a scene where I forgot the actress's name super cute blonde um she's on a boat with one of the potential fathers of her child right if you know the plot that sounds messy but it's cute um and she's wearing this like dark teal crochet looking bathing suit top that I love and I'm obsessed with and I tried to make one last year in my annual attempt to crochet a thon but it never really fit well probably because I wasn't using a pattern and I just thought I could wing it and make it look like the one in the movie did it work no did I learn my lesson also no but I think this is my redemption because I really like this is okay. This feels similar to the last top two where it's, excuse me, constructed kind of with multiple granny squares. But I think that this could scratch the itch of that Mamma Mia scene. So that's a huge win. Okay, moving on to um, an even less attainable goal. Thank you very much. We have the, excuse me. Oh man, what's this called? Okay, well, it just says crochet dress on here. Crochet with Alana. Everything's going to be linked in the bio anyway, so don't worry about that. I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. I love this color. I want to do it in this color and also white and also navy blue and also red. Not all at once, just um, in general, but I, I love this. The cap sleeves are so cute. A couple people on her Etsy, she has multiple pictures, so go check that out. They have it done as just a shirt, just a top and not the full dress. Love that too. I just, I have no reason to believe that I could make this, but I feel in my soul like I could. <laughs> and I love the honeycomb. I love the fitted waist. I feel like I would like to knit a dress at some point, but all of the knitted dresses that I see that I actually really could envision myself wearing are fingering weight, stockinette, below the knee, around the knee, 
long slit type deal and I just it would just take forever and my gauge is loose and I need to sort that out before I can commit to that but I actually have yarn to make a light purple lavender dress should I crochet it instead see okay here's the thing though if I'm gonna try and crochet this dress which I would love to do I have to start with one of the crocheted tops first because there's no way that this goes well if I do this without having crocheted in years and years. Um, so, <laughs> wish me luck. I'm just thinking through how ridiculous this all sounds that I think that I can make all these things. But, okay, we've come to the end. Oh, gee, the ice in my coffee is just moving of its own accord. I think that this is both a very reasonable and wearable and also unreasonable and lofty gold lineup of patterns, which it's good. You know, it's good to have range. Some things that we've already cast on, some things that we know we can make, and some things that we probably are going to struggle with. By we, I do mean myself. So I do actually have a couple patterns that I want to design for the summer too, but I'm just looking around to see if I have any of them close by, but I don't think I do. One of them is in my new favorite yarn, Skipper by Kelborn Woolens. So I think I want to do, okay, I have two ideas. I want to do a crew neck white broken rib. Don't steal my ideas because they're not done yet. With some navy blue stripes. And then I also want to do a V-neck, maybe also broken rib. But I want to do them with cotton yarn and maybe a lacy stitch pattern because I think that would be a really cute, like, day at the lake throw on when it gets chilly and you're going to the bonfire-esque vibe, which is one of my favorite parts of summer. So stay tuned to see if I figure any of those out. But thank you so much for watching. I've had so much fun collecting these patterns, and hopefully they're ones that you haven't seen too much before, because I know there's a lot of maybe patterns that have more eyes on them. Like, I know my favorite things, knitwear has a couple summer tops and knitting for olive and petite knit i think has a couple but i kind of wanted to look for ones that were a little bit more out there plus um these were ones that i think i would actually wear not just make because i've seen the patterns everywhere but thank you so much for watching if you have pattern recommendations for me to make this summer let me know leave a comment down below um and don't forget to subscribe and like this video because i love making these and the more support I get from you guys, the more videos I get to make. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.